Hello ladies, Anastasia is here from Anastasia Mac Photography. If you don't know me, I'm a photographer and own a boutique boudoir photography studio here in North County, San Diego, where I help women of any age and body type feel confident rediscovering their beauty. Uh, and today I'm going to talk about nothing more than thoughts. So tune in if you are curious, because it's going to be good. <laughs> All right, let's start. Um, as a fearless and daring woman as I am, I'm still scared of one thing and one thing only. You will be laughing, but it is live videos. I had these thoughts. What if I do something silly? What if I say something silly? What, what if I will be embarrassed? Um, because English is not my mother's tongue. Who am I to teach other women anything? And um, who, <laughs> what if uh, I thought, who am I to be worthy? Uh, I may not be worthy of their attention. Why would they listen to me? And what if somebody would judge me? But I told myself, wait a minute. These are just thoughts. And I should be in control of my own thoughts because I am the thinker of these thoughts. And I choose to have positive thoughts because my negative thoughts are standing on my way. They are standing in my way to get my message to reach as many women as possible. Isn't it the same thing that most of us women think about themselves. I'm not worthy. I'm too fat. Uh, my body isn't perfect. I'm not, I'm too shy. Blah, 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 blah. I hear the same old, same old excuses. Nothing new. Even from health coaches, the same old shit. And I keep telling women, listen, you are beautiful, but they still don't believe me. And if they're courageous enough, they would sign up for a boudoir session with me. And when I show them the proof, it's like a aha moment for them. <laughs> like they never knew it before. They didn't know that they were sexy goddesses. They didn't know that they were beautiful. And the result is changing their lives. It's um, switching their mindset and nobody can take it away from them because now they have proof. They believed realized that Someone told them once that they were not pretty enough or not good enough. And they started thinking somebody else's thoughts. And as a result, these negative thoughts became their identity and shattered their lives. So would you, would you agree with me? Um, guys, what, what are your thoughts about this? Uh, give me some likes or comments if you agree with me or disagree with me. It's getting pretty lonely over here in front of my computer screen. So if you're somewhere in a cyberspace, I'm giving you a virtual hug and I appreciate you very much. And if you could chat with me here, I would be so grateful. So these are my today's thoughts. I choose to see things as I want them to be. And I don't want my negative thoughts that are nothing more than illusion to have power over me because I know that I'm where my attention is. And if my attention was on my fears and excuses, I wouldn't be doing this um, live broadcast right now. Now, um, with the hope that my today's message may touch one woman's life and warm up her heart, I would be happy about this. And if not, if not, some, if nobody is watching or it doesn't touch any anybody, that's okay too, because I'm grateful to this opportunity that I'm able to do it just for myself because it helped me conquer my own fears. So I wanted to share something with you. Uh, my heart was uh, warmed up today when I received uh, this personal message from one woman. 
she was uh, referring to another live video that m me and my um, my friend Catherine Diaz, uh, she's a relationship coach, um, did. If you are interested, um, I will um, post uh, the link to this video in the description. So this is what this woman said. Your truth spoken this morning are words every female deserves to hear. Your storytelling truth of how and where you, come, uh, you came from and how it made you feel is mimicked by many that can't tell that truth. For you to open yourself up and, willingly, and willingness to simply be you and uh, is a showstopper. I see God shine through you with your God-gifted talent he blessed you with. To know you is to learn to love oneself. I love it that you are so truthful in your sharing, always thinking of how to get women the opportunity to meet you because you are a priceless confidence motivator for God and women, Kimberly. And then she added, most people win or get money, they go to Disneyland. When I win or get money, I'm coming to you. <laughs> Isn't that powerful and inspiring? It felt so good when I woke up to this message this morning. It was priceless for me. It made me happy. It, um, it was even more precious than if I would have woken up to a million dollars on my bank account. If I, fe if I haven't done that live video, Kimberly, I was referring to, um, I would have touched, I would not have touched her heart um, with this, uh, with a message. And I would not have felt so happy today when I received her message. I know it's so easy to play safe in life. It's very comfortable under a warm, fuzzy blanket of excuses and doing nothingness. And it was for me the same uh, for a very long time. But when I stopped getting in my own way and stopped diminishing myself, myself and shrinking myself, my life just exploded. I became happier. I became 30 pounds heavier but, and 15 years older, but so much happier. And I want the same for you. You see, it's not the weight. <laughs> it's not the weight uh, that's holding us back. It's not the age. It's something else that's constantly holding us back. It's our thoughts. And uh, the funny part is that our thoughts is nothing more than illusion. So what do you think, guys? Am I right or what? <laughs> Are you guys following? Uh, so here I am conquering my fears and <laughs> doing a terrifying uh, live broadcast uh, while I'm enjoying my favorite Jasmine Frost tea today. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity and ask you, lovely ladies, what are your fears uh, that are holding you back uh, from the life that you've always dreamed of but never got a chance to build? And what thoughts are you having today? Uh, and better yet, what are you drinking? <laughs> what is your favorite drink? Uh, coffee, tea, lemonade? Let me know in the comments. Um, please like, love, share, um, comment uh, with anything. I'd love to hear from you and get to know you better. Let's get this positive thoughts party started. And I wish today you have only positive thoughts. All right, bye for now. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.